Welcome back. Well, I tell you what, Ali Felton Taylor would have to have one of the best jobs around the grounds this morning. She gets to taste beef through her mouth all the food through her mouth. <laughs> Obviously, all of the fun things happening right around Rockhampton today. Arles, what have you got there? Andrea and Lindsay, I do have the best job at beef. What an absolute pleasure it is. I'm a good scout. I found myself at Smoko Time at Jim's Jerky. Now, if you're not familiar with gyms, you'll find them in supermarkets, servos and shows, as well as at Beef 2024. I found the CEO, Emily Tanner. She's right here with me. But I've just got to tell you before that, uh, the motto of Jim's Jerky is quality every time. Quality every time it is, and that's what you'll get when you open a packet. Emily Pullen, CEO, tell me a little bit about your company. You're based at Charlton in Toowoomba. Yep, based in Charlton in Toowoomba. We're 20 years old this September. Um, it was started by Jim, who's my dad. And yeah, over the years we've been um, trying to find new places to put a great Aussie beef as a snack all over the place. Quality, as you say, is the start point for your product. Why is quality so important at that initial stage? I'd be very rude and say, you know, a tough old beast will do for jerky. Not the case. Definitely not the case. So in starting gyms, um, mum and dad used to actually be cattle producers and they spent a lot of time perfecting the um, raw material to then disrespect it when you're turning it into a snack just seems wild and if you use ordinary product going in you get ordinary product coming out. Jim's Jerky you have a whole lot of other products I'm looking over there they're called Jimmy's Beef Bites I've tasted them for myself so have my kids. Yeah so Jimmy's was um, an innovation that we came up with about 12 months ago uh, I don't know if anyone else understands lunchbox trauma so trying to get healthy good quality protein into lunchboxes every day so we came up with Jimmy's. It uses um, Australian beef and then 25% vegetables in little packets ready for lunch boxes, sports, snacks, things like that, as a way to get protein, beef protein into little, little hands. Your 20 year journey hasn't been without its challenges though. Quite the disaster struck, befell your factory. It was a fire. Tell me about that. How is the recovery going? The recovery is going quite well. So the fire was in April 2023 and we've just finished rebuilding in April 2024. So it was a long period of rebuilding, a lot of, um, you know, sticking things together, talking to suppliers, talking to our customers to try and make our way through. Um, so it feels good to be back on the path to growth again. And uh, Emily, just away from beef, because I think just earlier, uh, late last month indeed, a uh, joint venture with Sun Pork was announced. And I'll speak to your dad a bit about this, because this venture, joint venture with Sun Pork, will mean a new direction for the company and I indeed a use of your special technology. Yeah, Sun Pork were looking for a partner to um, dehydrate uh, product for them. And they were looking in, in, the, in the area of dehydration and they chose us to be a partner with them to use our technology to dry uh, product for them. So that's, you know, there's a new venture coming up for us and it by the, should be up and going by the end of this year. Amazing. So uh, multiple proteins, pork as well as beef. Uh, you must be proud to see it. Uh, on so far and wide, on supermarket shelves, as I said, in many, many servos, of course, at, at shows and, and events like this. Yeah, so it, it, yeah, it's very pleasing, actually. And it, it took a long time for us, coming from a rural background, to understand marketing, because we had no idea. We had some idea how to, to make businesses run and work and do the physical side of it. But the marketing side of it was a, a painful learning curve. Um, so, yeah, it, it, Kathy, my wife, has spent a lot of hours standing getting people to taste product and, and building our brand name out there in the uh, marketplace. Yeah, it's nice to see it growing and spreading around the country. Jim, it's a pleasure to speak to you. And I'm just holding in front of me a Jim's Jerky Wagyu Biltong. This is a specialty product that is very, very new indeed. It was only released here for Beef Australia. Is that right, Emily? Yeah, that's right. So we've... Um working with another fantastic local Toowoomba business in Morton Co who obviously make fantastic Wagyu product and they came to us and said do you think that there's a way that we could use our product um, so the, historically we've always gone for um, really lean cuts and you know intramuscular fat absolute enemy 
and you were a bit worried, weren't you? But um, actually, it's turned out really, really nicely. It's a great product, so we're really proud of, um, of what we've created with them. Fantastic. We've actually heard that Charlie Mort is indeed very pleased with the product. He's not shying away from the wag you built on either. No, I think we could be going into, um, into territory there where we can actually start to look at, um, at Wagyu as a raw material to work with, whereas before we would have used leaner cuts for sure. Should we taste it? It's smoko time. That's a good idea. May as well. Uh, Lindsay and Andrea, I'll bring up a packet for you, so don't feel left out. Um, you've got to keep up your protein on weeks like this. It is a marathon and not a sprint. Let me just have a little taste test here. Ooh, ooh. It's my favourite yeah. servo snack. Some nice tasting notes. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. A hundred percent. Brilliant. Good on you, I Ali. I won't spit with my mouth full because I have good manners, Andrea and Lindsay, so back to you. <laughs> good on you, Ali. Thank you. We'll catch up again soon. Well, we asked the question today, why is it so hard to test pregnancy in heifers compared to humans? We need a third party.